Hello team and welcome to today's video. Keyboard shortcuts allow you to navigate through Excel and other programs more quickly, providing you with more efficiency. Many shortcuts are also standardized across different applications so you can perform these tasks in different programs. Using keyboard shortcuts will also increase your confidence with Excel and other programs as you memorize them and become more comfortable using them. Finally, keyboard shortcuts also allow you to discover hidden or less commonly used features, some of which I'll share with you today. Timestamps are below if you'd like to skip to a different shortcut section. Let's get started. When you want to save your spreadsheet data in Excel, you can click Ctrl S on the keyboard and a message appears up at the top letting you know the spreadsheet has been saved. To copy data in Excel, highlight the cells that you wish to copy Select Control C on the keyboard, and the dotted line box around your data lets you know that it has been copied. When you want to paste copied data in Excel, select the cell where you wish to paste and click Control V on the keyboard. If you need to paste your data in a special way, you can use the keyboard combination Control Alt V to bring up the Paste Special dialog box. If you want to cut data in Excel, highlight the data you want to cut. Then use the keyboard combination Control X, and the box with the dotted line again shows you the data that you're going to cut. You can then paste that data in another area by clicking Control V on the keyboard. When you take an action in Excel that you want to undo, you can use the keyboard combination Control Z, and this allows you to return back to your previous action. When you want to select an entire column in Excel, use the keyboard combination control plus space. If you want to select an entire row, use shift plus space. And as a quick note, if your data is formatted as a table, when you select control plus space to highlight the entire column, your highlight will only go to the end of your table. And the same goes for shift plus space for highlighting the entire row. If you want to delete an entire row in Excel, we can highlight it using shift plus space then to delete the row, use Control plus hyphen, and your row is deleted. The same can be done for columns. Remember to highlight a full column, it's Control plus space, and then Control plus hyphen to delete the column. To insert a row into your Excel spreadsheet, use the keyboard combination Control shift plus, and now a row is inserted. If you want to insert a column, you can also use Control shift plus to add your column. To hide a row in Excel, select a cell with the row you want hidden, and then use the keyboard combination Control 9 to hide that row. To hide columns, you can select the cells in the columns you wish to hide, and then use the keyboard combination Control 0 to hide those columns. To move a row in Excel, highlight the entire row using Shift plus Space, drag your cursor over the border of the cell so you get this icon, click and then hold down the Shift key. Move the row to your desired location. I'll put it between Brazil and Norway. Release the mouse and your row has been moved. When you want to convert your data to a table in Excel, select Control T on the keyboard. On the Create Table dialog box, you can select the area for where your table is located. And in this case, my table has headers, so I'll leave that check mark selected. Just click OK, and now I have a table. To select all of your data in Excel, click Control A on the keyboard. If your data is formatted as a table, clicking Control A one time will highlight all the data in the table. Clicking Control A a second time will also highlight the column headers. Selecting Control Shift plus the directional keys on your keyboard will highlight all the cells after the cell you selected. In this case, I've selected cell B2. So if I select Control Shift right, all the cells to the right will be highlighted. Now if I select Control shift down all the cells below will be highlighted as well. And the same goes for Control shift up or Control shift left Sometimes when you're navigating through a spreadsheet, you just want to return back to the top of your data. You can use the keyboard combination Control plus Home, and Excel will take you to the cell in the very top left. Now, if I have a situation where I want to go to the very end of my data, you can use the keyboard combination Control plus end, and Excel will take you to the cell located in the very bottom right. Let's imagine for a moment that we have a very large spreadsheet with hundreds or thousands of rows. 
I have cell A4 highlighted, and as I scroll down through my data, I may want to return to that cell without needing to scroll back up. You can use the keyboard combination Control plus Backspace, and Excel will take you back to your highlighted cell. In my Grow Sales column, I don't have these numbers formatted as currency. Excel provides a few different shortcuts to apply formatting to your cells, but in this case, for currency, I'll highlight the data and use the keyboard combination Control Shift plus the dollar sign, and now my data is formatted as currency. When working in Excel, we have to input the current date all the time. Excel provides a shortcut for this by selecting Control plus semicolon. Additionally, if you want to insert the current time, you can select Control Shift plus colon, and the time is inserted for you. A feature I use all the time when I'm trying to find certain data within Excel is Control plus F to open the Find and Replace dialog box. Now, if I want to find the country of France located within my spreadsheet, I can enter that in the Find What box and select Find Next, and Excel directs me to that data. When you want to input filters into your Excel data, no need to go to the Data tab at the top and select Filter. Instead, use the keyboard combination Control shift l and filters have been added. Control e is a keyboard shortcut in Excel that activates the Flash Fill function. This can be super helpful for formatting and populating data in Excel. To show you an example, if I type in the first employee email for Tim Jones, I can then select the cell below, click Control e on the keyboard, and following the pattern I established, Excel automatically populates the rows below. The Control e keyboard shortcut works by following a pattern that you establish. This tool in Excel is an amazing way to complete tasks, and I have a full video listed in the description that'll go over details, additional examples, and limitations of this function. One problem I often run into when working with data is that it's already been pre-filtered. So for this example, let's filter this table by the country of India. And now to clear these filters, you can use the keyboard combination Alt plus AC, and your filters are cleared. If you want to navigate through Excel's different tabs easily, you can press the Alt key on your keyboard, and Excel will display to you the keyboard shortcuts to get to those different tabs. So for example, if I now want to go to the Formulas tab at the top, I can select M on the keyboard, and Excel will take me there. Excel will now also display the keyboard shortcuts for this tab to assist with navigation. Have you ever run into an Excel spreadsheet where the columns and rows are too small to contain the data that's in them? Instead of resizing these manually, you can use Control A to highlight all of the data, then use the keyboard combination Alt-HOI, to resize all the columns to the appropriate size, and Alt plus HOA to resize all the rows to the appropriate size. I want to gather the total amount for the gross sales in column E. So instead of entering a formula, I'll click the cell below the column, select Alt plus equals on the keyboard. Excel will enter the sum formula automatically for me. I can press enter, and now my sum totals calculated. Team, I hope you enjoyed all of these keyboard shortcuts today. Please like and subscribe to the channel and leave comments about additional keyboard shortcuts you use when working in Excel. Looking forward to the next video. Thank you so much for watching.